Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm gonna just let y'all know now, I did do some iOS 14 updates, but not like good one it's like the basic this is like the basic level of iOS 14 because I did not have the time to like go through every single app and change it that just seems like a lot of work I mean it's cute but that just seems like it was so much so this is gonna be very basic um my phone looks very clustered clustered what's the word okay so this is the phone I have if I could take off the case it's in the color graphite or space gray I don't really know um Okay, so this is the color, and it kind of looks a little dusty. Um, I still have the same case from when I did my unboxing. I plan on getting another case, but I honestly can't tell you when. Okay, so I'm going to start screen recording. Okay, so this is my background. I got it off of Pinterest. Um, it just has some random phrases, and it has some random pictures. Stay wild, it's all in your head. Anxious, purple, that's a bad word. It's a lonely road. If you love me, let me know. Um, and yeah, I got it from Pinterest. I already said that. I made something similar to this um, for my laptop, but I've never used it. So let's open it up. See, so. Okay, the first page has a lot of basic things. So I have two widgets. I think that's what it's called. So in the top left, it just has batteries. So like my phone, my Apple Watch, and then whenever my AirPods are in, it will have my AirPods charging thing mm, I don't know um and then the bottom it's just notes so I'll have like the most recent note that I opened and I really need that because I'll always forget like I'll always like write something in my notes to remember and then I'll forget but having it on like my home page will help me so right now I gotta buy a yearbook and I gotta pay my senior fee even though we're halfway through senior year and I still haven't paid it um so Starting at the top, we have photos, Google Photos. I really suggest getting Google Photos. Like, my phone used to be full, no storage. This was back when I had, like, 16 gigabytes on my iPhone 6S. But I still use it. Um, camera, calendar, clock, weather, maps, app store, notes, reminders, Muslim Pro, settings. And then we get into my, like, categories. So we have money slash work. And in there, we just have Wells Fargo, which is my banking, Cash App, Paycor. Paycor is just, like... I can check my pay stubs and like tax documents and stuff like that. Workforce Dimensions and then Chronos Mobile, which is right under it. They're the same exact thing, but I don't know why I have both of them. But you can see your schedule and request time off, even though I've never done it. And then Daily Pay is this app my job uses, so you can get like parts of your paycheck before payday. This is a very toxic app because like my paycheck will come and it'll be like, three dollars because I done spent it all okay it doesn't let you use that much but I try not to use it anymore I only use it when I like need need money but yeah <laughs> and then we have wallet which you can just connect your debit card and like Apple Pay too okay then we have watch so it's the actual watch app and then you just you can like do your background and then not your background your wallpapers and then your app layout I literally never download apps because I barely use my Apple watch for stuff like that but it's okay um then fitness oops not gonna open it <laughs> and then fitness it's always empty because i always forget to wear my apple watch but it's okay um and then we have health which is clue and then health then we have random this used to be so so full and then i discovered say i want to delete measure and i say remove app oh ask me and i can either delete it or i can just remove it from my home screen and if i remove it from my home screen don't look I'll just go to app library. That's so convenient. Okay, let's go back. Oh, so I have measure. I got it one day randomly because I'm pretty sure it comes with the phone, but I deleted it and then I needed it one time for a project because I didn't have a ruler. So I just used this app. But it's also good because you can like level things, use it as a leveler to see if like, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> But I also used it when I was like hanging up posters in my room. I could like see if it was leveled. Then we have Apple Store and then find my, find my iPhone, find my friend, stuff like that. Okay, then we have this page. This is like the main page I'm on. So I have like three little widget things. One says self-love at the top. It used to say a different phrase, but for the sake of the video, I changed it. Um, then we have this one that just has a whole bunch of hearts on it. And then this one that has a calendar. I don't know. 
Um, so starting here, we have social, which just has Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and Leap Second. I use Leap Second for the one second a day thing where you like, um, take a second every day of the year. So this is the one from last year, and then I've already started this year's one. So yeah, y'all can go check that out if you want. Um, then we have watching. So that's just Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, and then I don't really use these two, but I have them. ABC and then Freeform. And then YouTube, we have iMovie. I don't edit on my phone, but these are the videos I have that, like, before I had a YouTube channel, I used to, like, edit videos and stuff like that. And then YouTube Studio, you can track your, like, subscribers, watch time, reply to comments, stuff like that. And then Files is, like, when I do video screenshots for thumbnails. And then TubeBuddy and YouTube Track is another, like, YouTube app that you can use for, like, tracking your milestones, um, subscribers, watch time. Like, like you've hit 10,000 views. Stuff like that. And then we have shop. Very interesting. Even though you shop for food, right? Nope. Okay. Moe's, Chick-fil-A, Amazon, Nike, Target, Starbucks, Pink Nation, shop. Shop is like you can track your small business orders. Vans Family. You can't like buy Vans from there, but it's like your points. Tracking your points and then getting free stuff. And then Bath and Body Works. And then we have music, FaceTime, Group Me. I don't even use it anymore. I had to get it for a club and then we just never used it again. And then games. We have Wordscapes that I've probably played a total of two minutes. And then Among Us that I haven't played since probably October. And this is my school page, so everything's school related. The top half is like what I mostly use and the bottom half is like eh, just in case. So we have Power School, Google Drive, Canvas, Google Classroom, Google Docs, Google Slides, School Email, Remind. And then we have this lovely widget that says the time and the date. Like, I don't have 17 other widgets that have the date. Um, Google Meet, Quizlet, Flipgrid, which I hate. Jamboard, VPN, Cam Scanner. We used to have the scan in our notes to prove that we were taking notes. And then calculator. So I have the regular calculator and then I have the... Okay. Um, okay. Sure. And then we have the, like fancy calculator but it's like on your phone that's so cool and then good notes i don't use it on my phone it's on my ipad but i'm scared if i delete it from my ipad i'll delete from my phone no if i delete from my phone i'll delete from my ipad <laughs> and then we have the two apps that i have not categorized so we have facebook i use that because it's really really good for youtube groups and like meeting new people and then subscribing and like watching other people's videos and seeing people who are like similar to you stuff like that and then whatsapp is just like this texting app that you can text people i don't really know how to explain it i just text my sister while she's in gambia so yeah um okay and then on the bottom i'm pretty sure this is how it comes i haven't changed it i probably moved email right there but um we have phone messaging safari and then gmail i don't check my gmail i mostly just check my school email it's just so much going on so i'll just try to ignore it like i was saying before this is just the app library so if i delete something for my phone i'll just go over here let's see if i can see something like in here oh, okay so like there's apps over here that's not on like the main pages that i still would need and i can just search it up y'all probably can already tell but i forgot to mention my background is literally just plain black because i felt like if i had colors and stuff it would just make my phone look even more messy but it's okay okay i hope you guys enjoyed today's video a look into my phone make sure you like comment subscribe comment some video ideas someone literally recommended me to do this video like i just felt so special i'm gonna just put them right here because like i can feel like a real youtuber okay <laughs> um anyways thanks for watching cut the cameras